In this video I'm looking at multiplying these decimals by these multiples of 10. The fact that these are multiples of 10 gives us an easy trick that we can use to do this. So if I'm trying to take 44.324 and I'm wanting to multiply this by 20, instead of trying to multiply by 20, I can know the fact that because 20 is a multiple of 10 and that we can break 20 into two factors of 2 and 10 because 2 times 10 is 20 I can instead of trying to multiply by 20 I can multiply by 2 and then I can multiply by 10 so let's work this out so we're going to take my 44.324 I'm going to multiply by 2 so 4 times 2 is 8 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 6 2 times 3 is 6 add in our decimal place 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 4 is 8. So I've done my times 2, now all I need to do is just do my times 10. And times 10 is really easy because now all I need to do is take my decimal place and move it one decimal place to the right. So this is going to give me 886.48. Okay, now let's have a look at number 2. So we have 564.6553. 3, 4, and we're going to take that and we're wanting to multiply it by 300. Now 300 is 3 times 100. So we can multiply this by 3 and then we can multiply our answer by 100. So we can take 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19, put in our decimal place, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19, and 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. And then we want to take that and we want to multiply it by 100. So to do this, we just simply move that decimal place two places to the right, and that gives me 169,396.602. That's a zero. Now to do the third one, we have 1.797, and we're going to want to take it and multiply it by 50,000. So instead of trying to do that, I'm going to multiply it by 5, and then I'm going to multiply it by 10,000. So let's work this out. Multiply it by 5. 5 times 7 is 30. 35. 5 times 9 is 45. Plus that 3 gives me 48. 5 times 7 is 35 again. Plus 4 is 39. Point. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So I've done the times 5, I now need to multiply it by 10,000. So multiply by 10,000. So we're going to want to move this decimal place three places to the right. 1, 2, 3, are four decimal places because we've got four zeros. 4. And so we need to fill that up with a 0. So our result is... 89,850. Okay, and our last one, number four, is we have 3.8472, and we're trying to multiply by 90. So this means that instead of trying to multiply by 90, we're going to break 90 up, and we're going to multiply by 9, and then we're going to multiply by 10. So let's multiply by 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 7 is 63, plus that 1 gives us 64. 9 times 4 is 36, plus that nine, uh, 6. So 9 times, 9 times 4 is 36, plus 6 gives us 42. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 4 gives us 76. Put in the decimal place, 
and we have then 9 times 3 is 27 plus 7 is 34. We then need to multiply by 10 so to do that we're going to just shift this decimal place one place to the right and we will have 346.248 and that's it by having this nice trick of being able to take our multiples of 10 factorize them into a power of 10 and a normal number we can then do a multiplication by our first factor and then just multiply by a power of 10